the guys at Drunk Deer sent this to me to have a look at. I haven't accepted any money for this review and I have not shown them the video in advance. Okay, oh blimey. That is actually quite luxurious, isn't it? It's got a plastic thing. Well, normally um, people are eco-friendly these days and uh, don't do plastic packaging, but it's black as well, my favorite color. Uh, can we have a cable? We have a cable. Excellent. Here we've got a USB-C cable and an adapter and some sort of weird spatula thing. Very good. So instead of having to buy multiple cables, you can adjust the actuation distance using some settings and gaming options and typing options. So let's uh, give both of those a go. It's Windows and Mac compatible, so we're going to plug this straight into the Mac. And we've got a little knob here, which reminds me of playing Sound Voltex. So let's uh, plug this in. USB-C. Yes, I would like this accessory to connect. The RY Micro, RY Micro, USB HUD, HID. Okay. Oh, look at this, RGP. Oh my word. Okay, uh, that's uh, pretty cool. Goes with, the, goes with the room, doesn't it? Um, so, yeah, well, obviously the Happy Hacker doesn't have RGB. <laughs> this guy does. Function 2M for Mac, let's try that. Function 2M. Okay, so command, command space. Yeah, open spotlight, okay. So according to this, you can change the actuation. Oh, it's got adjustable tilt legs. Oh, look at that. Very nice, very nice. Okay, cool. So Mac OS users can configure their preferred keyboard parameters on a Windows computer and then connect it to their Mac MacBooks for use. Sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, okay. Despite the box saying uh, M75, this uh, is listed as an A75 on the website. So let's see if we can change our actuation distance using just the keys. Function two, one, two, three. So it's flashed one there. So this is quite interesting. If we change it to uh, one of these guys, eight. If I do function two and then one, I can probably get away with less pushing. Yeah, I literally, I'm breathing on this key. And it, that's amazing. So, oh look, cool, that's very cool. The caps lock lights up with the text. Okay, so we press all the way in to register when it's set to the level nine. If we do function two, one, and make it the lightest, we can literally very, very lightly press it. Now, I'm not a PC gamer, so I don't really know the difference. So let's just do a typing test. Stick this in the middle, five, okay? Pre previously on this channel, uh, when I reviewed the Happy Hybrid keyboard, I managed to get 89 words per minute on the typing test. Let's make this the medium resistance. So function two, five, yeah? Start typing test. Ready? So. 90 words per minute. So I can type just as fast on this keyboard as I can my trusty Happy Hacker. I've just figured out, look, we've got this, this rocker, this rocker here does the volume. That's 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 uh, pretty cool. Okay. It is loud compared to the silent switches on, on the Happy Hacker. It's loud. The Drunk Deer keyboard um, is very great. I think it's actually quite good value. Um, if you, what's the price? The price is $129. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, if I sent it back, that wouldn't help global warming. So I'm going to keep this and um, do some more tests and maybe do a follow-up video in a few weeks. Thank you for watching. So for more low-budget tech videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.